And good morning, everybody. And good morning to you. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. Hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can oh, you hear me? Wonderful. I hear you very well. All right. How was your week? Uh, oh. How was your week <laughs> off? <laughs> oh, yes. I had a great vacation. I went to uh, NYU. NYU. That, oh, you went back to college for a week. <laughs> Good for you. That's smart. Always bettering yourself. Yes, but this time they were studying me. Right. Do you want to make a statement or... Uh, do I have a statement? I do you have a statement? I don't know that I have a statement except to say that uh, I had a major surgery, a major abdominal surgery, right. and that um, a mass was removed from my pelvic area and I do have some more recovery to do but uh, everything was it a boy or a girl <laughs> uh, I think it was an it an it <laughs> so in other words you are uh, at home today yes but you're on the air which is uh, great that's right that's, that's right the case. that is the statement <laughs> we have observed and that's what it looks like yeah how are you uh I mean, you with your small problems. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you in your apartment right now? Yeah. Are you nude doing the show, or did you bother getting dressed? No, Jim McClure is here, and I didn't want to scare uh, him. Oh, he's there uh, he's supervising? He's staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a work well. This room isn't very big. It's right. beautiful. So you got dressed for the show and everything? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Not very good. well, but right. nonetheless. Can you, you know see? What? Now that I'm doing this, I probably could be in the studio. I feel really good. Maybe tomorrow you'll be in the studio. You'll, you'll see. You'll see we'll how see you feel. How this goes. Uh, are you able to see me and all of the surroundings? I see you, yeah. and I watched you eat breakfast this morning. I felt like we were having breakfast. <laughs> oh, how gross! <laughs> watching me eat breakfast is like watching a wild wolf tear at his food. Um, I thought that was kind of funny because you know you're just sitting there eating. I were know. people talking to you? Yeah, yeah. Gary okay. and uh, they were giving me stuff for the show, which I will get to. We have a very busy show, by the way. We'll get back to Robin in a second, but we do have Jenny McCarthy coming in, who we haven't seen for years because when she started dating Jim Carrey, she abandoned me. We must talk to people about this because when you get a high-profile boyfriend, right. we feel like we had something to do with it. Yeah, and also we feel like we always get dumped. Like, whenever somebody gets something really outrageous, like, I will say, like, Pat Monahan from Train remembers his friends. Like, you know, he had a yeah, couple of... Yeah, but he didn't marry Angelina Jolie. Right, but <laughs> Pat Monahan had a couple of lean years career-wise, and we stuck by him. And then when he hit it big again, he's always, like, thankful and all that kind of thing. But for the most part, there are certain guests, and Gary, refresh my memory... That, like, they either, they, they either get in a high-profile relationship or something like that, something good happens to them, and then the first people they abandon are us. You know, Jenny McCarthy is the one who's at the top of the list. And right. I, I can't think of others right now, but I wonder, when she comes in, does, does Jim Carrey say to her, don't talk to Howard about us, or does she just know? Yeah. Make, it, make that decision in her own I mind. think people just know. Yeah, I think people <laughs> just know. I don't think she ever said to... I'm with Robin. I, I think that... Uh, Meanwhile, Rob, you know what? This is actually working really well with Robin. She'll never want to come in again. Mm. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it doesn't sound any different to me. Right. I just saw Gary. I know what's going on. <laughs> no, we just can't see you. Um, but I, I, I'm with Robin on this, that what happens is she gets in a high-profile relationship with Jim Carrey. She doesn't go to him and say, hey, I really have a Jones to go on the Howard Stern show. She all of a sudden says, hey, I'm in a high-profile relationship. Now Oprah's calling me. Now everyone's calling me because they're calling her because they want to hear about Jim Carrey. Okay, so what else? The other question is, what else does she decide not to do besides us? Yeah. Who else gets off the list? You know what? Add that to my laundry list of questions. Yeah, because so that's I don't a good forget. one. I'm thinking about it in relation to even, you know, everybody does it. When you meet somebody and you want to impress them, you think about the family members. You don't want them to know? You don't want them to know that you have, like, the wacky cousin or the uncle yeah. who does stuff? Like, why are we the embarrassed? I mean, Jenny McCarthy always came on my show. You know, she'd show up, like, two, at least two times a year. Why are we such an embarrassment that when she's dating Jim Carrey, a guy who, you know, is a comedian who's done our show, why, why, why are we the embarrassment? Yeah, he's so high profile. His, you know, claim to fame was he talked through his butt. Yeah, and but, and but, but we're also, not good enough. I think the fear is that I'm going to ask her about their relationship and she has to be protective of it. But, like, can't she just say, look, I'm going to be protective of my relationship with Jim and let's move on? Yeah, yeah she I mean, could. But it, it's almost like 
we would end the relationship if she paid any yeah. attention. If he, she even, if anybody even knew she knew us, we're the death now. Yeah. Well, anyway, but we'll they talk. always end anyway. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then, and we take everyone back because we should close the door, throw her out when she. Yeah. Gets well, <laughs> I won't. I'm a sucker but will for her. Will she now talk about you? Now that is the question. Who knows? But I'm looking forward to seeing her. Yeah, she still is beautiful. She's still hot, and that that opens the door. That's right. If, if she, she wasn't, gotten, oh. Yeah, if she had lost an inch. If she had hit the wall, <laughs> she wouldn't be coming in here. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. I showered. You did? I shaved. You're already better than me. <laughs> right this way. Okay. There's no lie detector test today, is there? Do we have to hook you up again? Fuck no. You're always truthful. I exa- That's why I couldn't believe you did that to me. I have your back. Thank you. I won't let it happen again, Jen. Thank you. So you're here promoting Love in the Wild? I am, since we're both in the NBC Universal family. Ching! Yeah. You and Howard. I know. So what else? Are you looking forward to this return to the show? Or yeah, it's a been a long time. It? You know, it's been a while, and I, you know, I wanted to wait to get to a certain point in my life to have something to promote. <laughs> <laughs> that was more fun. It was a lot of autism years, and that doesn't really blend with Howard. So now I'm back talking about sex, so yay. It's going to be fun today. I hope so. All right, we'll see you in the studio. All tonight. right. Yeah. May I come in? Aww. It's been so long. I know. It's been great. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You ready? Yes. You know what? I We're glad to see you. Thank you. I know. Thank you. I know. Well, Have you been to serious? I would I think I was here for a meeting a long time ago, uh, and then I do a tour tomorrow. Okay. But really? So, you know, you don't, there's no limitations. So. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when I've done the other satellite yeah. tours, it's swear, swear, swear. He's looking forward to having you, and it's good to see you. So, I'm glad. Uh, um, I'll come back. Well, We're going to take questions. There's break, no but, uh, sister surprises. No, 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 no. Well, you, you and I got that under control. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what, when, uh, when I bring you in, we're going to do commercials. When I bring you in, I'm going to give you a set of headphones, and I might just come in with an adjustment on your mind. You got it. All right, thanks. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. You too. Is Jenny here? Oh, yeah. Oh, she is? Yeah. She look good? Yeah. What is that weird dopey smile on I just, your face? I, I love her. Oh, yeah, man. I love her. <laughs> I know, but take oh, it yeah. easy. What, what is it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to fuck her. her. No, I'm not going to fuck her. No, but I mean, take it easy. I just right, we know, yeah, but I mean, you walk in like you haven't seen a woman He's in swooning. fucking twenty fucking years. I haven't seen that woman in. Five. Yeah, I know. Has he been in prison? Yeah, I mean, it's like it's like it's like Shawshank. <laughs> he walks in, he has this weird, creepy look on his face with a big smile in the teeth, and he's oh, like, "Dreamy." Oh yeah, she's here. It's like, oh god. At least let's try to act like we get laid. <laughs> Who said we do? You don't? No, I'm joking. I mean, good lord. Do, don't do that face anymore. Oh, okay. Pretty chick is here. Just give me a break. Has it's he creepy. gone to the jacket all the time? Yeah, he's on, yeah, he's, on, yeah he's on his sports jacket. But when he gives me the creepy face, I turn away because it's like I get embarrassed. All, all right, we, we got to let me let me take a break. I got to do a commercial nice. break. Then I'll talk to Jenny McCarthy, and Gary can yeah. have that big dopey Ooh, grin on yeah. his face. What is she wearing? Yeah. A mini skirt or something? No, she's wearing. I you know I think she's wearing. Uh, like a mini dress. Mini, like mini dress. dress. <laughs> you know, like a dress. Well, boy, it's got you going. You're salivating. I, but you listen, you know I like her. I know. I like her, too, but I don't put a big dopey smile on my face. Like, when I walk in and go, yeah, she's here. <laughs> it's like, what are we, in the backwoods? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Ron. She's wearing a hot black mini dress, low cut. Wow. And the real hot shoes, man. You're going to love wow. it. She's a hot chick. Hey, guess who's here? You gotta, I, had, you I, hadn't actually, calm down. I hadn't actually said a word. All right. I know. It, 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 it's unbelievable what I saw on your face. All right. <laughs> Caveman, he was grunting. We have so much to get to. We'll get to Jenny McCarthy next. I'm anxious to speak with her. But, I do, Gary, I do have to take a break. And since you're in charge, I, I, I bow to you. How you doing, bro? Hey, bro. Got uh, Jenny McCarthy up on the website today. Sorry. So if you go there, you see her, and this is just some of her. Is that an old pick or a new? Oh, these are all old. Oh, yeah. So that's her Good. on the tickle chair. And her doing like a lot of history. Of, yeah, little best of Jenny's appearances. All right. uh, lie detector and tickle chair. You know, I realized too, her, um, the other thing, I, like, her friend Oprah, like, kind of bailed on her. Right. And, like, now it's back to us. Well, th- well th- did she stop talking to us because of Jim or because of Oprah? No, I think Jim. 
And then it led to Oprah. And then Oprah solidified it. And then all of a sudden, now there's no Oprah, now there's no Jim. But I wonder when you get to the point where where she goes, well, okay, Jim doesn't like it. Then Oprah, she's like, and then she's like, no good could come of being friends with her. Yeah. You should thank her, though, for not bringing that kooky autism stuff to us. Or, or uh, that, uh, well, yeah, I think she did. Through her autism years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's got yeah, That's, that's funny. <laughs> right, yeah, I'll write that on the notes. That's great. Uh -huh. uh, Jenny McCarthy is here. She, of course, is the host of Love in the Wild. Very beautiful woman. She's very sexual. Wow, you do look good, baby. I Gary is almost like mental over you. And uh, it's not a mini skirt, it's a dress. Let me see if that's a mini skirt. It's not. Let me see your hot shoes. Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> pretty hot. Isn't she doing another spread for Playboy? I, I am. Heard. Yeah, I had to. Hi, baby. How are you? What do you say? How are you, darling? Very good. How are you? I should oh, have some cleavage for you. I should have banged you when I had the chance. I still still will bang you. I know. You know it's crazy He's because free. yeah, because <laughs> first of all, you I think you're one of the most beautiful women. And uh, you had said to me, I would bang you, Howard. It was pretty it was pretty much a done yes, deal. Yes, I did offer you it. You did. You turned me down. I did. I must have been mad. And this was pre Beth. I know. What a stupid asshole I am. What were you thinking? Then I got single again. I know. Howard. Just wasn't meant to be, I guess. You know yeah. what I mean? Because according to your first husband, and I, I was reading about this. Yeah. He said you were such a freak in bed that you would do things that no man would ever <laughs> expect. That's what he said. I'm Scorpio. Uh, but but what is what are these things? I mean, obviously, you're not opposed to bringing another woman into bed. Right. And and that's a major sort of fun thing. I think so, right? Yeah. I think it's, you know what, I think he probably said that because maybe you've gotten really good at what we're supposed to be good at in bed. Right. But what so. are you doing? Can I, can I be blunt? Yes. Because I'm looking for I can ideas. be blunt. G you give me a specific question, I will give you the specific answer. I think answer. what you mean by being good in bed means, number one, you're very comfortable being nude. So, like, you'll be running around the place naked all the time, right? Is that part of it? Yeah, but that's not something spectacular. To me, choking on your cock is more specific. I, I defy you to choke on mine. There's nothing there. <laughs> You have a hard time choking on that. You'll yeah. be like, "Well, I can't choke on this." <laughs> so, in other oh. words, you, you like and you enjoy sucking a man's penis because a lot of women don't. Yes, I'm very, very good at it. And the truth is that a lot of women don't like doing it, but they say they'll do it. Well, you know, you have to actually. What I've done was gone on you, you porn, porn tube, whatever yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, like YouTube. I'm, and really studied what the good ones do. I actually did blowjob homework over right. you know, the years. I love that. Like, I think every woman should if you want to satisfy your man in the best way possible. So I learned deep throat tricks. Da -da 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 -da. What's a trick that you learned by watching? Um, you know, how to swallow it, like, down your throat and use your hands to, like, tickle the balls and cup everything else. Wow. And and how do you learn not to, like, scrape Do you think I should hold back at all? No, you know? no, On no, what? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too late for that. Do you drink soda? <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, I don't drink soda. This is the first Coke I've had probably in 20 years. Why are you drinking soda when you don't I, normally I drink it? I feel like I need to burp a little. I had yeah. a little... And this, I know, will help me burp a little. So you did jo blowjob homework, and uh, but you enjoy doing this Love to it. a guy. Oh. And and uh, if a guy's smelly down there, that's the major turnoff. So you've got the musty. The musty's not good. Would you say to the guy, "Listen, you're musty down there." I'd it's say you great. need to take a shower. It's a little musty and cheesy down there. And do you expect a guy to go down on you, or you don't like that? I do like it. Right. I just I'm a little bit more specific of what I like. As you get older, the women knows exactly what they want. Before you're like 20 and drunk, you're just like, just so lick it, whatever. If I had been lucky enough to go to bed with you and I was doing it wrong, would you have said to me, listen, Howard, I think you're a great guy, but you don't know how to eat me. And I want to teach you how to do it. I mean, you wouldn't have said it like that. But I wouldn't have said it like that. I would have said while you were down there, like, finger me at the same time. Oh, that's hot. See, <laughs> I like that. I like to be taught. I realize I know nothing. I think nothing. guys do. If you kind of, I mean, I want to be told from a guy what your specific likes are. Do you like me going around your butt, or what? Do you want oh. me to stay away? Are you insulted when a guy says to you, "Gee, your blowjob isn't very good"? I think I heard that a, a years ago and did something about it. Who did you now, hear that from? I don't know. Some in my twenties, maybe. And then I did homework, and and since then, it's been like that is the best one I've ever had in my life. I've been blown 
uh, many times, not, not, not many times, but a lot of times, and uh, most women are awful at it. Awful. That's why I figured I could conquer you this could. easily and become the best. Well, you want to know something, but you want to know something? <laughs> That's really great of you because I remember specifically the two or three that did it well, and it was mind blowing to me because I thought I didn't like blowjobs. That's right, but the women that are good at it know that they have to multitask on the cock. It's not just up and down with your mouth. Right. You've got to move the hands. The left hand's got to be on those balls. You can be looking at those balls at the same time while you're stroking it. And some women give me the impression that they're not that into it. I can kind of sense the vibe. And then there are some that you go, oh, my God, this is fantastic. They love it. And, and you need to get in it. <laughs> There's a, there is a secret to my blowjobs, though. And that, I'm just plopping away here. But well, this is good for Robin here, thank especially. You. It, yeah. Oh, Robin, seriously, this will make, and any woman that's listening, and any guy, which I'm sure there's a majority, right. um, there's this stuff called sex tube, or sex tube, sex lube, it's probably in my purse, yeah. but the watermelon, and it is the best thing. You would make, you would, a girl would be on your cock for 45 minutes Because with this stuff. you're saying it's a lubricant that tastes like watermelon. Yeah, so it makes like a big, giant lollipop that you just want to suck it. And, and do you want it. that in your mouth? Yes, that's better than musty balls. All right, right, right. You so know? You, you apply that to a guy. And it's, you know, it makes it luby, wow. as I'm showing you in person. And then you're able to, uh, 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 uh. If you were my girlfriend. Yeah. Glad to be playing there. Right. Would you, if, if you Where were, is she, by the way? In, <laughs> Robin's, Robin's at home today. She's doing the show okay. from home. Um, if if, if, a, if uh, a guy is uh, receiving this kind of thing, yes. I would think he thinks he's the luckiest guy in the world. So when your husband said that you were a freak in bed. Yes. That included bringing other women home. And occasionally getting into that thing. Uh -huh. and, and, and you must have a way of making the guy not feel jealous. Because I, if you were my girlfriend, I think I'd be jealous even of the other women, that you might be more into them than me. I wonder why that is. Why would guys be insecure about that? I would I've think. heard it before. I don't know that I'd want to share you with everybody. Yeah. But then again, but I it's think a girl. It would, you're sharing with a girl. I know, but maybe what if you're like really doing that because you're, I'm not satisfying you? Well, this is the thing. Most girls that kind of do that, we can't live our life without a cock in our life. Oh, okay. We have to have that. I would need that explained to me constantly. Yes, probably. It's true. See, you know, I, I, I do. I'm so glad you're here today, Jenny McCarthy, because, uh, and we will talk about your new TV show on Please, NBC. Please, we're both in the NBC Universal family. Yes, we are. We're both in the same family and probably work with the same people. But here's the thing. I always felt you were a great guest on the show. You always came in. It was exciting when you came in. And then all of a sudden, the change began. <laughs> Began. It was, was it the autism years? It was abrupt. Robin's right. Yeah, the autism years. I mean, in a way, I'm kind of glad. I, I couldn't. I couldn't be. I wasn't happy, Jenny, for a long time, Howard. And my kid way, was sick. In a way, I was glad I missed the autism years yes. because you became an autism expert. I did. And you, that, that was the focus. But it, I felt you hooked up with uh, Jim Carrey. Yes. Who's like this A-list guy? And I felt that you kind of said to yourself, "Hey." I've got to change my image now. I'm with this guy, oh, Jim no Carrey. Yeah. Let's be totally autism honest. Autism did. No. Yeah. No, you could have come on here with so autism. so sad. I couldn't have come on here with those. I was so sad, Howard. I didn't think I could tell a joke again. Your son had autism. Right when I met Jim, Evan was diagnosed um, just a month prior. Right. So it was, and he was still seizing at the time not to go, but it was a really dark period in my life. I right. mean, I chopped my hair off. I was like... I didn't. I wanted to quit show business. I didn't want to do anything. All I did was write autism books, autism books, and tour the country. I did three years, literally four. Yes, but when you th th listen, yes. I'm not going to let you off the hook. When you met Jim, what do you want me? What do you? I'm trying to understand. What are you saying? I, I you abandoned me. <laughs> you did, and like you decided, you were oh going a God, whole new Howard. route. You, your new image was going to be Jenny McCarthy. You, I'm so sorry. You thought that you are so wrong. Just like you think about the other chicken bed wanting her. Yeah, no, more. but I'm not wrong because you didn't show. How, when is the last time you did our show? It was like right I when did, you met Jim Carrey. I did. It was three years of it, whatever I was promoting. So right. I had Louder Than Words, Mother Warriors, and Healing Preventing Autism. Three autism books. Right. That's a whole relationship. But then you moved into the whole Oprah Winfrey show thing. Yes. And now I feel Jim has left you, Oprah's left you, and now you're back to you're Howard. You're back to thank us. Thank fucking God. Well, what do you mean, thank God? 
Well, thank God. I'm, that means I'm happy again. Are I'm you happy, happy and I feel, oh my God, I'm so much happier, Howard. You're happier without yes. Jim? Very. Jim's a dark guy. You know, I, my, my life is, as you get older, as you know, Howard, you kind of see things more clearly and yeah. you hopefully you get happier and I'm so much happier and he um he's talked about himself being sad this court is annoying as well shit. jim's nuts right i mean that's the point you can't be in a <laughs> long-term relationship with jim carrey it's impossible it's too dark <laughs> he's too he had too much of a fucked up childhood man this is somebody who lived in his car with his mm -hmm. parents and had to support his parents i mean he, he's got he's got issues i mean all of us have issues but yes he does he did have issues that he grew up on and i think a lot of it had, you know but i struggled start, with depression i started to think you might be the perfect girl for him because i I know he has a voracious appetite for women. And Does he? Did yes, he? Yes, yes. What did you know? I didn't know that. I know. Come on. What does that mean? What that does he liked mean? Russian hookers? Well, it me I didn't say that, but I know he likes he's a man who enjoys women. Hmm. And he likes the darker side. And so what do you mean by that? He he He, he fucked Darth Vader? No. <laughs> he just he's just one of these I picture him a very freaky guy too in bed. So I thought, well, you know, maybe it makes sense that he's with Jenny. Because Jenny will bring other chicks home and I know he's not gonna just be with one girl. That didn't happen, by the it way. It didn't. No. You never brought another no. girl home. Well then you'd still have him if you had done that. He was he was he was good in bed, like different, because right. maybe who knows, but um you know, like any relationship towards the end gets a little... Mundane? Uh, separated. Right. The, the, the amount of sex that I need in my life Go ahead. is a lot. What are, you, what are your demands? Like you need it every day? I have to masturbate every day. Wow. Yes. No shit. Sometimes twice a day. And sometimes I have months where I have like three hour orgasms where I have to literally lay in bed and ride it out. What do you mean a three hour I called orgasm? my doctor and I'm like, I can't stop having orgasms. Today. You mean you, when you touch yourself? When I'm vibrating myself. And you vibrate and it's, it goes on and on and on. on. And on. I'm not kidding, Howard. Oh well, my God. Being and a what woman doctor is. Do you know what's you crazy? Is yeah, what doctor is that? Dr. Bombay. Who's that doctor? And uh, in all the years I've been here, I never serious? sat on that vibrating thing of yours. Can the you imagine? Zambia. Yeah, you got to sit on that. Oh my God. I, I would suction myself onto it. You would my love vagina. it. You would love it. You know what? I should have fucked you when I had the chance. Right? I made a big mistake. I wonder if I could have even been in your league. I mean, I, I think you would have laughed at me. Would this bed. have been scary? To I've done, so I've done so many Kegels that I could have taken your small cock. So really? you would have felt like my vagina was like, like a, yeah. I did measure it. It was six inches. Is that enough? <laughs> is that enough for you or is it completely? I, you know what? I, I don't, I'll have to ask about the, about your penis size for real. No, it, I think it's satisfactory. Great. That's all we need. Yeah. I mean, every woman I've been with has said, wow, it's much bigger than you actually lead on. But I feel like guys do want sex less as they get older. Right, right, right. Which and you I don't get that. you wanted more. More. You, yeah. yeah. Way. Wow. Yeah. But like, I would think you would make it interesting. Like, way. you would keep a guy yes. way interesting. Like, I would come home at night and you would be dressed up in some weird outfit and then we'd get into some role playing and things, right? I, I haven't done the role playing thing. I've just learned how to, like, I will actually research on how to make sex more interesting and better. And whether that's positions and I'm cartwheeling on it, who knows, turning around, just having fun with it talking dirty wow okay because because your first husband was like wow this this just chicks out of control he's still after me let me tell you is he really yeah oh every time i talk about i was like you want to have sex can have sex again let's have sex wow have you had sex with your exes no after it's, no no once it's over it's over i get a feeling so why would jim break did, oh you broke up with him or you it was uh it was mutual but i i was i was i we both hit a point but i was ready to go was there a 50 million dollar trust fund no i'm so fucking up? pissed off about that i heard that jim carrey set up a 50 million dollar i trust heard it was fund. 25 but <laughs> um i can tell you this and this is a fact yeah mm, whatever i came in the relationship with i left with so basically it was my clothes and my son are you bitter about that not at all but but i would think as you know a wealthy guy if I had been with you for a couple of years and I become attached to your five son. Five years. Five years. And that's a lot of years. Yes. I might have said to you, you know, look, um, you gave me a lot of good years of your life. We spent a lot of time together. In fact, you probably put some of your career on hold for me, you know, be traveling with me or whatever. 
I'd like to give you sort of a parting gift. I think a wealthy guy, a guy who doesn't have a big uh, income can't do that. But a guy with that kind of resource, I would think he has a lot of money. Do you think that's mandatory? That that's I, I don't be... say it's mandatory, but yeah. I think a guy could do the right thing by a woman. You know, I'm, I'm such a self-sufficient, independent woman. I mean, I've got back on my feet so many times from being kicked down. And I feel like when I went into the relationship I, and moved in, I, I, I wanted to sign a prenup that said what's mine is mine and yours and yours. And that's it. Right. So, you know, when I heard reports that it was $25 million, I'm like, really come over to my house in the valley. It's in the, on the ugliest street in the but valley. Ha, but, what if, but Jenny, what if he had said to you, look, I, because we're breaking up and because you've been with me, and yes. be, you know, I would like to give you a gift of $5 million. Would you have accepted it? I would have said, please put that in Evan's name so I can cover his tuition. Evan's tuition is like $100,000 a year. Yeah, well, that, that, so I mean, I would have taken it. And didn't Jim get attached to your kid? Like you had said at some point when you were really madly in love with him. Were you madly in love with him? I was in love with him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you had said, hey, you know, uh, Jim's like uh, the autism whisperer to my son. He's, he's very good. He's the only one who can get through to him. He's he the was. Only one. And he, you know, he, there was some connection in some way, whether that's, wow. you know, I don't know what it was. So now that's completely broken off? He doesn't visit he your doesn't son? He doesn't visit, no. call. So are you upset by that? Yes. You are? Yeah. Because, be, because I would think... Don't make me cry, Barbara Walters. No, I'm not making you cry, but I would think that your son... Yeah. Uh, this isn't about you and Jim anymore. No, I know that. He almost became like a father, and especially with an autistic kid, they, they develop an attachment. I've tried to ask a f a numerous times, because my son still asks. So I'm Aww. hoping that they... Your son will, will say to, to you before, you go, before he goes to bed at night, hey, I miss Jim. Where is he? Almost weekly. Wow. wow. And so have you t t told Jim that? I've, I've gone through the channels to say that. So yes, you can't I'm hoping. talk directly to Jim anymore? I, I haven't. I haven't. I think sometimes people just need to take a real break from each other. But I still, wow. I still, I still love him. I think you can love people from a distance and respect mm -hmm. them. But, you know, as a mother, you just you hope when you have a relationship with someone in the, that has nothing to do with the child when you break up. Do you it, play him Jim's movies? Mm-hmm. You oh do, yeah. Oh and, yeah. and then you say, "Hey, well, there, you can't." And be I tell with him. him, I said, "You know what? Someday you will, you will cross paths." And that, we him. don't know that though. That could be a lie. I know, I know. It's hard. I, trust me. He's been in therapy, so it's it's a progress, and he's you know so, working on it. So you'd you'd be wise in the future not to necessarily get a guy you date involved with your son. I've been very strict about that. So in the past year, I've gone on speed dating Howard, which right. man, I wish I would have been calling up weekly, because I did. These speed dates, 60 of them from the past seven months. How lucky is the fuck who gets a speed date with you? What do oh, you mean a speed date? Who my sets God. you up on these speed I dates? I had all my friends. Yeah. I even joined Match.com, but we're not going there. Okay. I would never set you up on a date. Okay, so my friends set me up Why on dates. I would because, I, because I don't like her with anyone. I would go. <laughs> I would go on these dates, and these guys were I, just unfucking believable Unbelievably bad? Horrific. Well, that's what they say. Like, uh, you know, I'll watch like The Bachelor and see how bad they are. Horrific. What do you mean? They don't know how to talk to a woman? They don't know how to... No, it, it, just narcissistic or um, stinky, made me pay for dinner numerous times. Made you pay for yes. dinner? Yes. I mean, they, they're there with Jane McCarthy, a famous woman who looks like you, and they <laughs> ask you to pay for Borrowing dinner. Borrowing my makeup. Because oh, they have a zit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. I might do that. Who are these friends are setting you up? <laughs> Get rid of them. I know. It's, it was really a horrific run there for a so, while. So you didn't have sex with these guys. You just dated them. Correct. Right. And now you're dating some football player guy. Yes. And the football player dude is, uh, I, I don't know much about football, so I'm, I'm, com I'm not like a man's man. So well, this I don't guy's either. a big deal, supposedly, right? He's a, I, yes, he's Chicago Bears. Yeah. I'm from Chicago. Right, of course. And he is one of the best, and he's very sweet, and I'm very happy. And how long have you been with him? A few months. Have you introduced your son to him? Just last week. Oy vey. So you got to stop that. Yeah. <laughs> you're, okay, you're no, no, no. In 10 <laughs> years. Advice, you know, think about it. I've been on 60 days. I mean, literally, I've been dating since I broke up or got divorced. Evan's only met two guys in 10 years. I'm sorry, but for a single mom, that's not bad. How long but do you wait before you before have sex? Before introduce or... No, oh, no, I can that. tell you this. <laughs> I wait. You, I take as... If I like someone, right. they make it to the second date. Right. If I liked them after the second date, that means I'm probably going to get intimate soon. Then I have them get a blood test. Right. True. So yeah. everyone goes and gets their blood test. We exchange them. Right. And then we get it on. I don't really like condoms, so I'm going to, I want to get it on without it. So oh, that's nice. why I do blood tests. Wow. We, Mama Lucian. And what do you want, the pill or something? No. 
What, what does your guy pull out? No. What did you use, rubber? I use the, um, I use the, uh, my mom taught me uh, the calendar method. Get oh, the fuck out of here. And it has worked method? my, yes. You're telling me the football my player. My whole life. Is using the calendar. I would be so afraid of getting you pregnant. Why? I'm because an independent it, woman. I just, yeah, but who wants to get into that whole thing? I mean. I'm not having any more kids after all those well, autism years. what would you years, do? Get an abortion? I, I would have to cut my hair again and start all over and do that thing. Yeah. Well, what would you do? Get an abortion? Uh, No. But you're not yet. You know, that is. I'm not going to get pregnant. I can tell you that. Are you out of your mind? I got mind? my tubes tied. Did you? No, but kinda. <laughs> what are you? What? what are you saying? <laughs> I'm not having any more children. But what if you get pregnant? You're, 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 a guy is coming inside of you. Yes. You're counting the calendar days. It is. Then I would probably be forced to keep it, but I'm hoping that that will never happen because I've never been wrong on my calendar method. I know when I'm ovulating. Look at my orgasm. I, like, wouldn't, I would I, bang I, you with a rubber because I don't want to have another kid, and I am not trusting your calendar method. Why doesn't she get her tubes tied? She doesn't want another baby. Right. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. I might. Yeah. Yeah, let's get your tubes right? tied. Yeah, let's get you. Let's get you in prime form. Care of it. Uh, and 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 there are times when you're having when you're most ovulating. Do you have anal then only? Is that the? Why uh, would you put those two together? Well, because when you're ovulating, is the most likely chance of you getting really? pregnant. Really? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're talking about. That's my anal for no, I'm because saying, I'm ovulating. I'm horny. Right. Do you stop having sex during those those periods of time? I make sure there's plenty of pull-out time during that time if I'm going to have sex. I see. When I'm ovulating. I can wow. tell when I'm ovulating within a, the minute I start ovulating. So the Chicago bear, he goes into you without a condom, mm -hmm. and the, and his deal is that he trusts you to know when Correct. you're going to get pregnant. That's right. Wow. Are you in love with this guy, the Chicago bear? <laughs> <laughs> what? I really, really, really like him. Right. So we just, you know, we'll see. And he's a good guy, and I... You know, I'm hoping Football Howard player, at this though, age. Does he uh, have it well, uh, going to I was to worried. I was, know. don't get me wrong, my friend, we had a mutual friend that tried setting us up for like three years, and I, I just I thought you were it. done with famous guys. Yeah, no, actors. 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 Football I, players are okay. Yes, and so are DJs. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> You're still on the list. Uh, that's right. I only did one movie. That, <laughs> it doesn't count. So, so uh, if, I, uh, go ahead. if I wanted to use a rubber with you, would that be okay? Totally fine. Oh, thank you. I'd just rather have my cum drip all over your balls. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Oh why why let the rubber get all the fun? So let me understand something. What How could she have gone for three years without talking like this and being the yeah. Jenny we know? Oh, oh, when I would watch her on Oprah, I was like, yeah, what who, is, who, that who woman? is this person? That's still me, by the way. I'm still very much a inspirational mom warrior. I'm just also really fucking dirty, too, and there's no reason why you can't be two things. But you Oprah, didn't talk to Oprah like this. Yeah, well, Oprah, please. Oprah's head would explode. <laughs> you had a deal. You do look good. Thanks. Uh, you let Oprah uh, sort of change your life around. The deal was, did you have a deal with her to do a talk show? Yes, I, I signed with Oprah. It was a five-year holding deal, okay? Right. Oprah dropped you, and I'll tell you no. why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how that's not true. Because when Jim Carrey went away, she, her, her fascination is <laughs> now she's in with Jim Carrey, right, and you guys are a right. power couple. I wasn't like that. I had you on when there was no Jim Carrey. <laughs> You're just starting a stupid fight for no I'm reason. I'm not. It's ridiculous, Howard. Oh, please. You went the total route of I Oprah, had, and you uh, tried that play. She jumped on the A train. You did. Okay, let me try something different. Be honest. <laughs> okay, no, but you know you I'm did. so sorry, by the way, if you did feel that. You dumped me. And I apologize. You dumped me. It's all right. I'm going to beat you up about it for the rest of your life. <laughs> I apologize, but I was in that deal um, originally to make a syndicated talk show with her. Right. right. A, a, and I made sure in that deal it, it said syndication because right. I knew in the future she was starting this network because it was five years prior. Right. And it was a great learning experience. I did five years and then towards the end of the deal when we were supposed to go in syndication sh they wanted to switch it to own to help them. And I said, I'm not a known person yet. Right. So I shook hands and then went over to NBC. Can you, could you really host a uh, a, wom a woman-oriented talk show? Because I don't think women, and I mean this out of great respect, I don't think women relate to you. What 
are you crazy? I've written eight New York Times bestselling books for women. So you're fucking wrong. I don't know what that's about, but I, I look you at you, to, okay, and you are a man's woman. Eight, no, I'm both, Women though. are jealous of you. Bullshit. Look at the body, the titties, the this whole thing. This fucking cord is like an umbilical cord coming out of my body, Howard. That's right, and that's, I built it that way. Okay, listen. Yeah. Um, I... To me, since Singled Out, people have said that to me when I started Singled Out. They're like, oh, my God, you're not going to be able to relate to girls because you've got tits and did it. I went, no, fuck you. No. Watch this. I'm going to make fun of the guys and cheer on the girls. And guess what? I've stayed like a, like a team player for the chicks. Isn't it true? And the books show that. And now this game show that hopefully we talk about eventually. We will. Isn't it true that the girls in high school hated your guts? Yes. Yes. So this is what I'm Maybe talking about. Maybe that's why I parlayed it into making sure the girls. Now, you try hard to make sure girls like you, but unfortunately. <laughs> Shut the fuck when up. When you walk in the room, every girl <laughs> feels threatened. I don't believe you. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you the way life is. Okay, then you know what? Then I'm they, the then honest they feel judge. Threatened. But, you know, that's why I talk about, you didn't know. Didn't girls in high school light your hair on fire? They did. Wow. Yeah. And didn't they Listen, beat you Barbara up? Listen, Barbara Walters. Are you trying to get me to cry uh, here? Uh, what the no, fuck? I'm, what the fuck? I'm curious about your life. You? I'm cu- what happened to me? <laughs> it makes your story look like, like, like a fantasy. <laughs> He'd have been happy to help you set I, your hair on fire. Howard. I, I, no, you, I would have been happy to have my hair set on fire. Were you made fun of in high school? Oh, listen, I grew up, you know I grew up in an all-black neighborhood, right? <laughs> Did you know that? No. That I was one of three white families? Mm. All right, so now you understand. Do you know what it is to be the ugly American? No. Oh, exactly, well, I do. And? It's not easy. And so then how did you parlay that into this persona? Persona? It's just, you know, America discovered how wonderful I am. Right. But get back to your life. It's so not maybe, about me. <laughs> Why did the girls do that to you in school? Um, the, col- the high school I went to was an all-girl Catholic school, and they were really rich. It was a lot like Pretty in Pink. Right. Um, I had no money. I mean, literally, I was growing up in a van down by the river. Yeah. So, so why were you in that school? How did you end up in there? Oh, my dad worked three jobs to put his girls through the school. And Wanted was, you in a good school, and then you got there, and the girls picked uh, horrific. on you. Yes. We, I didn't have any. I mean, really, like, you could tell I didn't have any money. And um, Did the other girls ever undress you? And and, and, and finger think, bang me? Did they ever finger bang you? I know Seriously. that's where you wanted to go to. No, I'm, I'm curious. Did they? Was no, there ever abuse? unfortunately, because I probably would have enjoyed that. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> and, but, but when someone lights your hair on fire, that's a traumatic experience. Well, Howard, if I had a picture of my hair from back then, yeah. you should Google it. It was... A, a full Aquanet hair. <laughs> I, I mean, of course they lit it on fire. But, you know, I was still bullied in high school. But most, you what know, a lot of poor like? girls were. Did anyone ever, like, strip you nude and chain you to a wall and torture you? <laughs> These were girls, Howard. I don't I care. love it, Howard. I love your where you go. Oh, and my no God. Can you imagine prison. you in an all-girls Catholic school and they, <laughs> they tie you up to a wall and then, like, the nuns come to save you, but then it turns out they're worse and yeah, they get you know, naked with you? I I'm going to save all that shit because I just, my next book yeah. that came out but that you're what, not part of. Did something like that it's happen? Com- it's called Bad Habits, Confessions right. of a Recovering Catholic. And it comes out in October and I'm wearing a nun's habit and it's funny and dirty. And was there abuse at the school? I mean, uh, there, there sexual? Was, no, there was no sexual abuse at the school. Well, if you want to sell books, you better put some in there. But there, um, there, the, the book has a plethora of shit that you'll enjoy, I'm sure. Like really? Like my first finger banging session and stuff. With a girl or a guy? With a guy. But there is there's a whole lesbo orgy in there that you will thoroughly enjoy too. With celebrities or uh, just You will girls? have to wait and see how Oh wow. Yeah, I know you wanted to write a book with me. I've never mentioned that before. Yeah. Write a book with you? I yeah. did. Jenny called me and wanted to write a book with me. What would the book have been about? Well, considering about me jerking off to her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that would have been a fun few months together, though. Yes, we would have worked very well, hard. We're both very open and raw and honest. Right. And a guy point of view with a girl, like you were thinking that you were worried about a girl fucking another girl in front of you, and I have a different perspective on it. So there was a lot of things that I think that we could offer the world together, but obviously you didn't think so. No, I said to we Jenny. We have a tour to fair during this writing. I said to Jenny, I said, I, you know, listen. Because you know how hard it is for me to say no, Robin. Right. So it was like I said, uh, you know, I, I just think I'm too busy to write the book. And and, and 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 she was like, oh, okay. She was cool about it. You know, you well, were. Well, what was the premise? I mean, was it just. I don't know. Like I said to her, I go, I go, I'm too busy to write the book. She goes, don't worry about it. I'll write it. <laughs> I go, well, I don't operate that way. I, I'm not going <laughs> to let you write a book in my name. I'm like, well. 
I have all these bestsellers. Doesn't that give proof that I could do it? Yeah, but. But know. anyways, you know, Howard, you just think about it, all right? All right, let's think about it. Maybe you we should. You think about write. it, right? Yeah, but then, uh, you know, I, I don't need any trouble. Now you're so busy with your fancy TV show. So. That's right. Yeah, AGT. I'm you're, America's judge. And guess what? I'm going to be following you now. That's right. Is I that right? That. You were yes. my lead in. Jenny's uh, show is called. A love in the wild. It's a dating show. I'll watch that. Right, but what is this in the wild? Are they putting you, people right, in the I'll woods? tell you what they do you in go a to nutshell. The jungle. Um, it's basically like Survivor meets The Bachelor with a little fear factor. So we take these hot people and force them to do horrific things together. And at the end, we pray they sleep together, which they do, and <laughs> start fights and drama. And I'm kind of there. I do a lot of the single out kind of Jenny. Where are I'm you in a bikini in the show? No, but my outfits are pretty fucking awesome. Are they uh, flimsy? Uh, they're, they're, they're very tropical, beachy, like I was uh, someone's, like, sex goddess, and I heat wave. Well, who folder. decides what you'll wear for that I show? did. You did. They were, they were a little caught up on the amount of cleavage I wanted. I said, are you guys stupid? Like, we need fucking ratings. Like, right. <laughs> this is a dating show. Right. So it's um the show turned out great, and I have a ball with them. I make fun of them, and there's a lot of cat How fighting. long were you away shooting this show? It was a month in, in the Dominican Republic, and I was horrified. I thought, they said, Dominican Republic, it's going to be gorgeous and beautiful. I heard it was horrible. The Some of the executives that worked on your show reported to me. I said, what's going on with Jenny on that show? And they said it was really kind of difficult. It was difficult. We had four-hour drives to location. There was, like, dengue fever outbreaks. We were oh, freaking dear. out. I brought my son there thinking it was, like, going a to be vacation. tropical vacation. Yeah. But one thing I realized about that country and how did I could best describe it my, is that that's the place where the losing Super Bowl T-shirts go. Right. Like, <laughs> everywhere, I'm like, they didn't win the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. They go to the Dominican Republic. Right. Towards the end, I fell in love with the people and the culture, but, man, it was hell. You didn't get laid in the Dominican Republic. No, but I made out there. With who? <sighs> Brandon Rick? so horny The NBC single. executive on no. your show? No. God, no. No? Wow, what's wrong with him? I love him, but yeah. no. Who? Um... I, I was I was told before the show started that I should not sleep with any of the contestants. Right. I was like, well, that's no fun. <laughs> yeah, but you're the host. You can't that's be doing right. this. I like, but even when everybody. they get, <laughs> yeah. even it's when a they dating get show. <laughs> so did you make out with one of the contestants? I did not, but at the rap party, I got it on with somebody in the crew. Uh, oh, in you the did. Crew. Wow. Uh, I was like, come over here and make out with me. Is that all you did with him? Yeah. Well, maybe I touched the outside of his wiener. But oh, that's wow. Like, did he come? No. It was just a little drunk makeout session. You know, blah, blah, blah. What happened? And, and what about the Chicago guy? I mean, the, the guy on the football team. Is I it, hadn't met him yet. I hadn't oh. met him yet. I was single. Are you now exclusive to him? I mean, Absolutely. You are, huh? I, I'm very, I'm a serial monogamous, Howard. Right. Except, of course, if it's another chick that wants to join the party. Have you joined a chick? Have no, you, you no, brought no, a chick no. into the bed? I feel like I'm at that age a little bit where I've, I've, I'm totally secure and have fun with just myself and all my tricks now. So if you were my girlfriend, I said, listen, I, I really am dying to try this. With if you're dying girl. to try it, great. But if you're, but if you're not, and, you know what I've realized? It's like, it does kind of make the relationship, it can get a little sticky later. Right. Like, it, it loses its... Um, but maybe that keeps it interesting. I, maybe. It, yes, but I also find it to be okay if you, you're not, you know you're kind of not going to be with the person forever. Wouldn't you be afraid that I'd fall in love with her and maybe dump you? <laughs> not after you see my blowjob, Howard. Wow. Wow, that's that's those are really strong words. I know. That's some blowjob you give. It's some blowjob. Maron, why did this Jim Carrey walk away from yeah, his I situation? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're sitting here, and you, you know, you've lost a lot of, of relationships, and you're yeah. saying that the blowjob is so great, and it keeps people there. I don't get it. Yeah, why do you lose so many relationships? Why do you think I'm? How come you guys think I'm losing them? Maybe I'm walking away from them. I see. Why do people don't? Why don't people believe you walked away? Why are you giving these great blowjobs? They do. The guys you're the, you're <laughs> yeah, right. You're getting great blowjobs, and guys are. Uh, why are you getting great blowjobs, and guys? You walk away from them. You guys, you guys are the only person that are saying that I, that they, that whatever. But like when I, Jim got I this outrageous blowjob, was he like, "Oh my God, I've got the best blowjob in the world"? Yes. Yeah. So then, why? Well, why did I leave? Yeah. yeah. I don't, still don't get it. Why I don't are you get working it. so hard for a loser like you that? You know what? Because yeah. it's not about, you know, it's not because I'm going to stay with someone because they suck their cock great. Right? Because no. you couldn't relate to him after a while. He never really got you, did he? And he became more and more. Here's his mind. <laughs> more more he became about more, him all Tell the me time. if I'm right. It just became more. He became more and more distant and more into his depression. No, and you know, it's just that after a time, you know, Evan got better. Right. Um, and your son. I got happier. Right. And 
you know, there were, I, like I said, I did love Jim. We had a great relationship when we did. And then when we didn't, I knew it was time to end. So, yeah. um, like I said, I, I was still so happy when it ended. <laughs> I well, was. you predicted and predicted until it went. It actually happened. Yeah, and I didn't like. I didn't like her being with Jim. Honestly, I didn't like it. No. No. Were you jealous? A little I think I was a little jealous. Maybe I don't know. It's not that. Listen, I I love my wife and I have a great relationship. I with love her, her too, by I, the way. Yeah, I just didn't want you with uh, Jim. But it was also that she didn't come and share. That's right. That was the worst part of it. Here, you could have come in. You're dating Jim Carrey. There's a whole I'm new. I'm going to talk about things. healing and preventing autism on the show. When I want to come in and talk about blowjobs, you could have come in and talk about blowjobs. I was so sad, Howard. You just seen how sad I was. Did you really cure your son of autism? Now I read one article where it said they don't even think your son had autism. So I was like, "Fuck you, people!" But right. no, he, they, they said he, he had pinky disease or something. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> I don't know. He was um, he was diagnosed by UCLA in the state of California. Blah 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 blah. Right. And um, it's not it's not cured. It's recovered. It's kind right. of like cancer goes in remission. So he's recovered from autism. A lot of kids can get better, and he did. In fact, I know of a woman who has a son who is autistic, mm -hmm. and she brought him to a very, very competent uh, psychologist who actually got him mainstreamed and everything Thank else. You. So it Th does it, happen. It does happen. This way. I don't understand why the medical community are saying, like, these kids can't get better when I'm going, we have proof, you idiots. So, so there's no way you could combine your two passions, blowjobs and autism, and somehow create <laughs> something good for the world? You've never thought about that? Why can't you do that? I am doing that because yeah. I'm I'm moving forward by still like doing autism talks. And at, at night, I'm now doing like all these different TV shows, being able to be my sexy Do you still self. talk to Oprah or she's dumped you? I mean, you dumped her as well. I mean, who is, I mean, do you, I mean, I feel like Oprah had her moment where she thought this was going to all work and then it all Oprah was great right. I mean I've nothing but great things I've still had, sent emails and gay? Christmas cards I have no idea I, I you know I have, a, she, what I have a good that? gaydar you wearing panties with that dress no I'm not whoa we none why I don't know I was like I'm doing Howard do I need underwear nope what did you, what did you think was going to happen Maybe I was going to do a little Sharon Stone. Oh. oh. Yeah. Well, when's that happening? <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> I realized it. I didn't fully shave, so I don't want to do roadkill. You know. Uh, are you? Show. Why are you not fully shaved? I, I was tired this morning, Howard. Are you going to pose for Playboy again? I did. It comes out in two weeks, dude. And how did you look in awesome. these pictures? Did but I have to tell you. Yeah. I literally, I'm bringing back like the 1970 bush in this. I just really? grew it out so you don't see all the lippage. Retro oh bush? Why? Not Why retro. did you decide to do it's that? It's not retro. It's not, it's not 1970. Phew, my girlfriend, that bush is coming off. It's um, it's just groomed. It's a groomed runway bush. Well, who told you to do that? Playboy or you decided? I wanted to do it. Is that true? Yeah. They didn't say to no. you, Jenny? No. They didn't say anything. No. Are you the cover girl for that month? Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a full, it's like eight page I am. I don't even think I have any clothes on. The entire there's not even. Oh, I've I've gloves on. That's do it. you do you do you spread eagle? Do, do you know what I mean? Are you, is, it, is it very graphic? Uh, no, it's not graphic, but it's it's um it's elegant, classy, still very sexy girl next door. If that yeah. makes sense. Why yeah, didn't you ask me to shoot that thing? You know, I'm a photographer. Fuck! Why didn't we do? That, that's <gasps> what that. did you? What were you thinking? I, yeah. Okay, seriously. Yeah. When I. Uh, when I turn, turn 50 and think about doing it again. I'm not going to want to shoot you when you're 50. <laughs> yeah, how are you no, shooting? Oh, good. I get to take her picture when she's 50. She always saves the best for you. And you know she? what? You're going to want me to grow in my bush because you won't want to see those 50. <laughs> Why? Do you have flaps? <laughs> no, I'm saying at that when age. When she's that age. I mean, come on. You know what? It's funny. My camera doesn't work for 50. <laughs> oh, you know, though, there's, there's some people off. looking pretty good at 50. They so do. Yeah. And you look fantastic. Thank you. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with you. <laughs> and but what so, a great idea that would have been to have you shoot it. I of know. Course. I would have loved that. Tell me the truth. Uh -oh. D did you, uh, at one point in your career, yeah. uh, did you have a, a, a casting call with Steven Seagal where he oh, tried to seduce you? I'm so glad you? you brought this up. Yeah. What is going on? Because I've heard about this. Jeez, it's is it true? Yeah. You know me. You had a lie detector test. I don't fucking lie to you. So right. let me tell you the truth. Right. Um... <laughs> So back in the day, I was playing with the year, 
And this, this just gets out again. Please, media, it's already been printed a billion times over the years. Yeah, but explain just it to telling me. it to Howard, right? All right? Yeah. So I don't it, need to see it on ET tonight right, again. Right. It's been overplayed. But anyways, this is the story. I was playing the year. I wanted to get into acting, and Playboy said they're holding these auditions for Under Siege 2. Right. Do you want to go? I said, of course. So I memorized my little sides, and then I wore this big, ugly, flower dress muumu so he could look at me and listen to my acting and not right. my body. You didn't want to be evaluated. I did. I, want, I, I was really serious about making a name for myself. Right. In, in some way, legitimately. Right. So uh, I went to some office, and there's like 30 other playmates or porn stars, maybe. <laughs> and um, I was the last one to be called in the room. And he came out and said, you see, I saved the best for last. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I throw up. And went into the room, and he told me to sit literally next to me on the couch. He had a fireplace to the right. Oh, yeah. um, Is he like in a robe or something? I don't remember. <laughs> it's balls but he told out. me he spent a lot of time in Asia or wherever <laughs> doing a lot of kung fu stuff. <laughs> And I would listen to this, and then he said to me, you know, this role requires nudity. And I said, no, it doesn't. And he said, yes, it does. I said, no, it doesn't. And he said, well, it's off-camera nudity. <laughs> <laughs> off-camera nudity. Is that what he said? Yes. Get the fuck out I of here. We're going to get you naked. You can get me on a lie detector test yeah. for this. Oh, this is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. So then I said, can I just read my sides? So I... Gave them him my horrific performance, well. and um, and then he says, "I can't really tell what your body looks like. Would you mind <laughs> removing or lowering your dress?" <laughs> Show Lord. business. It's so great. So I hadn't heard a word she said. I said, <laughs> "Yeah, no audition." <laughs> I um I sp had a little tear form in my eye Aww. and said, um, "My Playboy video's on sale next month. Why don't you go buy it?" And that was brave. Thank you. Yeah. I left the office and um, you ran out. Or I you ran just out. Yeah. He came out to say, on my way out, don't ever tell anybody about this. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, I promised myself when I, f the first second I got famous, which was like two years later, right. I would fucking tell it. So as soon as I sat down, I was like, I have a story for you guys. Is there any temptation <laughs> on your part at that point to say, you know what, fuck it, I'll screw around with this guy. Maybe Hell no. I made it, by the way, I really made it a mission, Howard, when I came out here. Like right. for Playboy, I wasn't going to fuck anybody to get to the top. Maybe for some great shoes. Right. But, but not, not for, that. for that. So you never fucked a guy and then got no, a part or never. anything like that? Uh -uh -uh. And people said I had to do that. For Playboy, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. What was that whole thing then? When Remember Remember there was some, who, who was it? There was a porn star who said that you like pushed her up against the wall. Who was it? Jenna Jameson. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, Howard, you idiot. What? Okay, <laughs> she comes in here, this right. is like, and tells you that we had sex. Right. Then uh, you, I come in a week later, you thinking I'm going to lie, which is ridiculous. I didn't think that. Uh, you had a lie detector fucking test. Well, I'm just going to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's important. So then I go and sit there, get hooked up for you. You ask me a billion questions, which I pass them all except for one, which was, do I like my son? Which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and um, I, I, I've told the truth numerous times that I did right. not have sex with Jenna Jameson. Yes. And then you were, you look like somebody killed a puppy of yours. I was disappointed. You were very disappointed. But why did she? And make then that she up? called me to apologize to say, I'm sorry that I said that. Why do you think <laughs> she said you that? You know why I think you guys because. A lot of times you come in here, Howard, you, you want to satisfy your urge I see. Of, of, of stories. So but she I, could have told that story and said it was anybody. She didn't need to make it you. Well, true. well she probably figured, you know. Maybe. But Howard, like, you weren't beating her for a story. She's like, right. oh, my God, I have this great story I have to tell you. I yeah. know. And well, there was no truth to it. She did not. I mean, would I have had sex with her? Possibly. Right. But no, I did not have sex with her. And, and so when, when you have sex with a woman... Do you uh, make them take a blood test as well? <laughs> the, the women don't? <laughs> <laughs> or it just kind of happens? Uh, no. No, they, they have no blood test. There's no blood test. Well, maybe there should be one. I don't know. <laughs> why is that funny to you? I just think, I, I don't know why I think that's hilarious. I don't know. Because I'm, I'm picturing, I'm picturing like, uh, my test is to see if there's a tampon in there or not. Right. Oh. That would be it. That's when why I'm laughing. When is the last time you had sex with a woman? Um, Honestly. God. On that jungle show? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> you really can't. I've been with, I probably have, I've fooled around with probably more girls than the total number of guys, though. Don't you think in your new book? I was a playmate, Howard. So, you know, we were like, we made out with everybody. But God. go ahead. Well, well, you did more than made out with uh, girls. I mean, you went down on them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Are you good at that? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. You don't study the women like you said? <laughs> no, 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 no. Is it nice when a woman goes down on you? You like it? Yeah, 
Well, you know, but at this age, it's, like I said, I've kind of... You're only 39. I know. Calm Are the fuck you down. You're making it look no, like you're I 70. Just, I just, you know, I've done it. I've done it. I've You've done, done it, everything. done it, done it. Yeah. yeah well. So now I'm just really having fun getting good at the things we're supposed to be good at. Have you ever been, like, really into a guy? You get his blood test back and some funkies on the blood Ooh. test. Have you run into that yet? No, but this is what I've run into. Right. Um... Oh, my doctor hasn't given me back them yet. Oh, I don't know where they went. Oh, ah. so that's oh. when you go bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. But wow, it's great. And then I have them take a picture of themselves getting the blood work, <laughs> like an iPhone picture oh, of wow. their arm with that's the nurse. That's true. Yeah, you got to be careful so of that. I take. I have pictures of. A well, few guys that I've slept sound. with. <laughs> wow. But it doesn't sound like she trusts these guys. That she's going to sleep with, even after she's known them a little bit. You're not kidding. Yeah. Hey, what what was, uh, I meant to ask you too, what was Tom Cruise, you went to Tom Cruise's uh, wedding. I guess that was when you were with Jim. And I slept with him while I was there. You did. (laughs) You slept with both of them. Uh Uh-huh. No, how was that? Was that fun or was it weird? Um, It was both. It was fun and weird. Yes. What was so weird about it? Um, You didn't feel they belonged together. No, I, you know, I don't know. I think this is the truth, you guys. Tom Cruise is one of the nicest guys in the business. That's what they say. He is just like, his, my imitation is like, hi, yes, this is a great day. I Do you mean, think like, that maybe that's too much? People blame that on Scientology I don't or know. I mean, from what I've known and seen him over the years, because he was friends with Jim, it, he's, honest to God, a fucking nice guy. And Kate, super nice girl. It was weird because we've had, like, all the girls from Ohio giving speeches, you know, like, right. oh, I remember when we got drunk in school. It was sweet. And then you get, like... We are taking over the world. Speeches. Scientology. Yeah, so it was a little bit, you know. You never became a Scientologist? No, 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 no. Did Jim ever almost become no, one? No, he never became a Scientologist. Because Jim is searching, isn't he? I have no idea. No, I think he's spiritually one with the universe. God, I'd love to know what went on between you two. Yeah, I can't get a real oh, picture. Oh, my God, that would be a movie. Oh, if I, if I could really know what went on with those two. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> it just must have been something else, something really wacky. I've become friends with Mary now, you know. Mary McCormick. We are BFFs, by oh, the no way. No kidding. In LA, I just saw her last weekend. Jay, I wouldn't think you two would hit it off. Made out with her. Did you? Oh, yeah. You made out with Mary McCormick? Uh, some, yeah, some night. Yeah. Where? Where did you do that? <laughs> no. Did you make out with her? I don't believe it. She did. No, I believe it. <laughs> I don't believe Where'd you do that? that? I don't remember. She breastfed you. I no, she's, <laughs> she is one of the nicest, coolest, and I'm so glad she played your wife because I can't imagine any other person in Hollywood she after being, becoming friends yeah. with her. Right. I mean, she is the she is a, such a granola, hippie, loving, free-spirited woman. How did you uh, find out? I mean, how did you how find her? How did we become friends with yeah. her? Um, I sat next to her at one of those stupid functions we have to go to, like, uh, women are great functions. Right. And um, we hit it off immediately. Wow. Immediately we became BFFs for the past few years, wow. three years now. No kidding. Yes. Bush didn't tell me that. She's Nobody tells me, and everyone's uh, hooking up. I, I know. Well, you can't just see her. I mean, there was a party I was going to go, but I was like, whatever. Guys spank you in bed? They do. Right. You don't care. It, not really. Whatever. Uh, right, right. I hear you. Well, listen, Jenny McCarthy, I'm glad you're back on Thank the show. Thank you. I missed you. If you get involved with another high-profile celebrity, you yes. can certainly uh, dump us again. I mean, it Maybe seems... Maybe it'll be all right now that you're on AGT. But, I don't know. Maybe that makes it... Different. Listen, right. dude, all I have to say is you, dude. Better, you need to be a very good lead-in for me because I would love for people to tune in. Well, let's hope people tune in to see Love in the Wild. This is where Jenny runs around in skimpy outfits in the jungle right. and tries to hook people up in the Dominican Republic. Public. <laughs> and uh, it's a dating show. It's a survivor show. It's a little of this, a little of that. A little fear mm-hmm. factor in there. A little fear factor in there. Probably eat scorpions or something like that. So, um, you know, listen. And don't dump me when you hook up with a high profile guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm with one, you. and I didn't. Here I am. He's not that high. I just profile. can't have autism. Do you right. know what I mean? Like, get rid of, I don't want any health scares. How long did you make Jim wait before you banged him? Um, I usually like if I really like someone after a blood test comes back, it's like two weeks. So you met him two weeks later, you banged him. Uh huh. Wow. Was yeah. it great the first time? I, I don't think it's. I don't know. He wasn't the best sex of your life. <laughs> he wasn't. He's too it was, selfish. He was good. 
It was just it's good. good. It was just hot. Good. It was it was hot and sweaty and great. Really? You know what used to crack me up about them? You know, it was always like these two funny people and they crack each other up. Remember we used to read those Well, quotes? Jenny got into a thing. I don't <laughs> mind talking behind your back in front of you. Because <laughs> right, I detect take everything. It. She started doing like a Jim Carrey impression. You what started are making, you fucking talking about? You want to know the truth? No. <laughs> you, were getting, you were getting so into this guy that I'd watch you on TV and you'd start doing Jim Carreyism. What? But maybe you, just, like, you, you know how you start, start to... Vroom, 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 right, making, making, making the noises. noises. Yes, yeah. Talk. Watch some of your old interviews right. on Oprah. But you know what happens is when you start living with someone, you start to, you know, to take on their little things. Yeah, but that's not you. It's not. I'm back. I'm back, Howard. You've got to be funny a different way, not to be Jim Carrey Jr. Did you really crack each other up? No. <laughs> no. If they did, they'd still be together. Yeah. We learned wonderful lessons, and I do, like I said, I can love them from a distance, so it's, it's good. Right. I'm glad you're back with me. Thanks, Howard. It's about time. Missed you. If you'd make out with me, I would love it. I missed you too, <laughs> and I can't believe you made out with Mary McCormick. And I wish I'd been there to see that. Uh, don't what miss is Jenny. Going on? Who knows what's going on? <laughs> don't miss the party. That is Jenny McCarthy. She's the host of Love in the Wild. How come I have a note here that Jenny, uh, JD's going nuts over Jenny? I, what so does that I, mean? I sit at my desk. So she starts talking about you know sucking the cock and choking. He starts texting me. This is the greatest interview ever. <laughs> and, and, and so like he tells me a couple times. So then he goes into my office. You know how he gets all mumbly? Yeah. He goes, dude, you, you got to get a banana in there. You got to cover what's going on. Well, when you He's come all back, worked up. When you come back, well, JD, you're all worked, worked up, no. huh? I don't know. Yeah. What's going on? She's like the hottest chick uh, ever. <laughs> she keeps talking uh, of this oral game. I want to see it or something. Take out your penis and let Jenny blow you. Well, I don't need Brian Urlacher no, to you beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. I'll give Beth some lessons. How's that? Beth does just fine in that department. <laughs> La- now, look. I love you, ben- Jenny. Thank you. I love you, Benji. I love you, Benji. Benji. You just said I love you, Benji. Uh-huh. I love you, Benji. Uh-huh. <laughs> Boy, a lot of truth comes out when people are <laughs> mush mouth. <laughs> Listen, you look lovely. Thank you, Howard. You're a beautiful woman. You look really good, too. <laughs> Thank you. But I know you're lying. Jenny. All right. Right out of the gate. Everyone's going to want a blowjob for me now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you've got the... Yeah, sorry. You've got the whole crew all worked up. <laughs> good. I'm so glad. Is that why there's so many guys in the hallway yeah, right all now? Yeah, we're all just lurking. <laughs> <laughs> pretending, pretending like we have things to do. But that is really funny. Jenny. I was on exactly 54 minutes. Wow, that was quite quite a long interview. Yes. Jenny, how you mentioned speed dating and the things that went wrong. Yes. How does an average guy get a girl like you? Um, oh, how does what? An average guy. How does he survive a speed dating session with you? What, um, what does it be take? Be very nice to the um, uh, service industry. So tip well, respect your waiter, and you will get the second.